In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, hello everybody, how are you doing? We'll be doing great by the mercy and grace of Almighty Allah. My name is N.H. Saqib. I'm your husband too. I'll stay in a additionally been also teaching the students of spoken English the last 20 years at the platform of Genius Institute Lahore. Dear friends, we are also professional student visa consultants. We accept your applications for UK, Australia, Canada, America and across Europe. Uh, lots of success stories can be found on our YouTube channel, that's Genius Institute Lahore. Dear friends, we also offer online and on-campus classes. If you are interested in any one of them, you can contact our number given in the description. Okay, my today's topic or lecture would be about IELTS Writing Task 2. You know, it's a well-known essay, but it has got different categories or different kinds. Today, we'll be talking majorly about an opinion essay. Opinion essay is one of the five major kinds of essays to be found in IELTS Writing Task 2. What are the other kinds apart from opinion? There are advantage and disadvantage essay, causes and solutions, or problem and solution essay, discussion essay, and two-part essay or double question essay. So these are the five major categories of uh, IELTS writing task two. As far as the essay is concerned, we'll be majorly talking about today an opinion essay, and that's the sole purpose of recording this video for you guys. I hope. You will be just being attentive while listening to it and you'll be holding a paper and pencil while attending this lecture. It's going to be very useful because and in, in an opinion essay, uh, you have got to discuss different fundamental blocks or different structure, which is uh, very useful for you guys. You can write down your essay very conveniently after having attended this lecture of mine today. In this lecture, we'll be talking about three different aspects. And what are those? Number one is an overview. We'll be talking generally about an opinion essay, how this essay is different from other uh, categories. And number two, we were talking about uh, the structure or the fundamental blocks of uh, the opinion essay, which is going to be very useful for you if you are writing an opinion essay in your IELTS, academic IELTS, or even generating IELTS writing task too. And thirdly, we'll be talking about a model question and answer, how it can practically be attempted uh, in uh, the examination hall or for having a bit of practice before the examination. So that's uh, going to be the important lecture for you guys. It's going to be a bit lengthy lecture it's going to be highly useful, very conducive, very beneficial for you guys because uh, uh, if you are uh, interested in appearing in IELTS or want to move abroad or want to have the immigration or want to study abroad, so you have to be the student of IELTS and it's for all the existing students and the prospective students of IELTS who are going to appear in IELTS, uh, you know, shortly or after a long time even. Dear friends, uh, uh, we'll be talking a bit of uh, uh, a bit about opinion essay. What is this essay, and what are the diff different other names of this kind of essay? The different other names are uh, argumentative essay. Opinion essay is also known as argumentative essay, or persuasive essay, a position essay, or agree and disagree essay very well known uh, so these are the different kinds a different a different names of the same kind that's the opinion essay now in an opinion essay actually the author adopts a position on a debatable issue uses reasons or evidence to convince the reader or convince the examiner in case of essay IELTS essay of his or her opinion. So that's the sum and substance of opinion essay. So you must be knowing that uh, 
you know, this category is very common in IELTS essays. All essays are really important, but this is the most important one in all five kinds of IELTS writing tasks too. Now the question arises, the big question indeed. So uh, how do we come to know that this is an opinion essay? This is a million dollar question, by the way. So my answer is the typical question words or the typical instruction words will let you know that this is going to be an opinion essay. So therefore, I recommend the students that they should analyze the task before attempting it or before even doing their planning. So this should be the first step to take before you even begin to plan. That's to analyze the task. So you do not go off topic or write another essay altogether. These could be the repercussions and this, this could be very much, uh, I mean, uh, stressful you guys if you happen to write down about another structure and you would not be understanding that this is an opinion essay, by the way. So what are those instruction words? Uh, must be knowing about those instruction words. Uh, they are important ones. In this way, we'll be having the recognition that this is going to be an opinion essay and we'll be planning about writing that opinion essay and we believe we'll be having the structure in our mind and we're just jotting down that structure on our question paper. So opinion essays will have various types of instruction words such as number one, to what extent do you agree or disagree? Number two, do you agree or disagree? Number three, what's your opinion? Number four, do you think? Dot, 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 set of question. Five, what do you think? Dot, 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 sign of question. And last is, in your opinion, what is? Dot, 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 sign of question. So you've got to be careful about one thing. There's a, there is a trick. The examiner may trick you, or may have a kind of uh, you may kind you may have a kind of distraction while attempting attempting and understanding that this is an opinion essay or opinion essay or not. So in many cases, the instruction words may ask your opinion, but it may be a discussion essay. Yes, such as uh, the words could be such as uh, discuss both views and give your opinion. So you are giving your opinion, but by the way, this is not an opinion essay as, at all. This is a discussion essay. So the structure of the discussion essay may be very different and definitely is very different from the opinion essay. So it could be a kind of trick by the examiner. You've got to understand whether it is an opinion essay or discussion essay. So there are clear, clear cut differences between the two. Um, in the discussion essay, actually, you will have to give the opinion, uh, reasons actually for people's views before you go into your own opinion. So this is actually a kind of trick or the distraction by the examiner, by the examiner created for you to entrap you. But I must say that you must be careful about it while just reading the instruction words, uh, what kind of essay it falls into the category of. Um, there is uh, um, another actually essay which also tricks you. Um, it, it, it is a different question altogether. It's a two question, two, two parts question essay or double question essay. Maybe the second part is an opinion part, but this is going to be a different question altogether. It doesn't fall into the category of once again opinion essay. The question could be like this. Most people agree that money cannot buy happiness. Full stop. Why is happiness different to define? Or, sorry, difficult to define? Sign of question is the first question. And the second one would be, how can people achieve happiness? So that's the two-part question 
or the double question and the last part is an opinion but mind you this is not going to be an opinion essay it is a double question essay in which the second part is the opinion you are being asked of your opinion so must be careful about it it would also have a different kind of structure or fundamental blocks altogether you must be careful about these little tricks that's why i keep uh, stressing you or keep uh, advocating that you must analyze the task before you start uh, you know planning your essay so the analyze analyzing is strongly recommended before planning the essay um so the opinion essay that is i'm referring to actually asks now the question of ask today would be to what extent do you agree or disagree now what does this mean to what extent do you agree or disagree it means that how much do you agree or disagree or do you completely agree or disagree or somewhat agree or disagree or do you neither agree or disagree so these are the meanings of to what extent do you agree or disagree you know that there is a thesis statement that's a part of the introduction and um, uh, introduction has got actually two major portions that's the paraphrasing of the question and then the thesis statement uh, outlining what you're going to write down in your uh, body paragraphs so the thesis statement in which you are going to show your agreement or disagreement can have these sentences if you are agreeing to the opinion you can you can write down i completely agree because dash 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 or if you don't agree you can write down i totally disagree because dash 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 so dear friends now the most important part of this lecture would be the structure of opinion essay or what are the fundamental blocks of an opinion essay so i must tell you uh, all essays actually have got three fundamental blocks and that's an introduction body and conclusion um, in case of uh, opinion essay it's not a different case uh, but it's got two body paragraphs so we'll be talking about what you're going to write down in your introduction bar block and in your body paragraphs and then in your conclusion you must write it down my dear friends they are going to be very useful because you can construct your whole essay uh, based on these fundamental blocks very easily and very decently i must say and uh, fetching a good band scores as a matter of fact ultimately uh, in introduction actually you write down two sentences number one is paraphrase the question you know what the concept of paraphrasing uh, paraphrasing is done majorly in two ways number one is just change the words the possible words change the words and write down the synonyms of uh, those words and secondly it is uh, you know uh, secondly this paraphrasing can be done by flipping the order of the sentence and changing the family words converting verbs into nouns nouns into adjectives so on and so forth and the second sentence would be in the introduction thesis statement it would be your opinion i always tell my students the thesis statement means that you must confine your whole opinion or the whole essay in one sentence so what do you think about the topic in one sentence actually it's your thesis statement and in thesis statement actually you are explaining your opinion or expressing rather your opinion you can outline main ideas so that's everything about your introduction now when it comes to main body paragraphs so i'll be talking about main body paragraph one and that's uh, afterwards main body paragraph two that's actually the replica of the main body paragraph one so just let's start uh, talking about what are the main sentences in main body paragraph one 
Uh, I keep giving my students a simple recipe of uh, the body paragraph and that's IEE. -E. That's idea, you float an idea, and E, um, explanation, and three, uh, that's E as well. It means uh, example. So idea, explanation, and example. That's a general recipe. Let's start talking about what are the main contents of, what, sh what should be the main contents of an opinion, opinion essay's body paragraph. So the first one is topics and tense. You know, it's a central idea. Uh, it's a central theme you introduce in the beginning of your body paragraph in one sentence and that actually is the main theme of the body paragraph and you have to construct your whole body paragraph around this one sentence known as topic sentence or central idea. So in this uh, topic sentence you will introduce your first reason why you agree or disagree. And then in the second sentence you'll be sporting uh, your idea or your opinion so that's the sporting sentences to be more exact in the second uh, you know after the topic sentence in the bo main body paragraph there comes sporting sentences uh, you have to discuss or explain your uh, opinion further in maybe one two sentences it all depends on your uh, length of the sentences if you're making your sentences uh, you know a complex one then it will be a bit uh, lengthier sentence you won't have to write uh, m more than two sentences then and then number three you will be giving the example so give an example to spot your opinion your example will still be will be spotting your opinion so that will be the end of your first body paragraph. Let's uh, talk about the second body paragraph. As I told you, that's the replica of the first body paragraph. But a bit of change is there. When you in the topic sentence here, uh, you will be just giving your second reason why you agree or disagree. So that's the difference. So in this way, as far as the second body paragraph is concerned, the first sentence will be the topic sentence or the central idea and in which you will be presenting your second reason why you agree or disagree. And then number two will be sporting sentences. Once again, explain in detail uh, the topic sentence. You must be writing two, three sentences, not more than that. Maybe two sentences are enough. And then number three will be the example. Give an example to spout your opinion. My lots of lectures are there uh, on a YouTube channel which explain what should be the topic sentence, how you should be writing the body paragraphs, and how you would be explaining it further and later, and what should be the examples, and how different uh, ways of examples can be given, how sometimes you can add some unreal examples and uh, sound a bit fantastic in view of the examiner. Examiner will be giving you a lot of appreciation for your usage of uh, even the sham on unreal examples, but it will be spouting directly uh, your point of view. And there is no any actually uh, criterion of uh, assessment that you mustn't be expressing your uh, examples in that matter. Uh, you can if they are plausible, probable and acceptable examples. Uh, the last part of the fundamental blocks of an opinion essay would be your conclusion. My dear friends, in conclusion, the first sentence always is summary or you summarize your main points briefly. And number two, you restate your opinion. Uh, you know that you have given a thesis statement uh, in your introduction. So that can be repeated, but not repetition with the same words. You must use the synonyms uh, for restating your opinion. Uh, in this way, you'll be impressing the examiner and we're convincing him or her to give you more band scores. And, uh, you know, uh, lexical resource is one of the more most important components of the criterion of assessment as far as the band descriptors are concerned. So that's everything about uh, 
the topic or I mean the structure, the fundamental blocks of an opinion essay. I'll be giving you just quickly some tips on structure. The number one, the introduction should be under 55 or 60 words. Uh, number two, each body paragraph should be approximately 90 to 100 words. Number three, conclusion needs to be shorter than the introduction. And number four, aim for 270 or 280 words total. So these were the short and very comprehensive and quick tips about uh, your, uh, you know, structure of, uh, you know, complete essay. Okay, now I'm going to give you the third part of mine. Today's lecture would be example question and it will be divided in different fundamental blocks, keeping in view the structure which I've quite, quite now mentioned. So for your more understanding, for your, uh, you know, for your better understanding rather, I'm going to give you the question first and then I will be giving you the answer, the simple answer or uh, the exact answer, uh, how you can uh, implement that structure into uh, practical sentences. The example question will be like this. It's an opinion topic. So, some people believe that unpaid community service should be a compulsory part of high school programs. For example, working for a charity, improving the neighborhood, or teaching sports to younger children. So that's the question all about. And instruction words, to what extent do you agree or disagree? That's the real part of understanding of ours because in this way we'll be coming to know that this actually the question falls into the category of opinion essays. So the simple answer now would be given and we'll start from the introduction and the first sentence of the introduction is always a, a paraphrasing of the question statement or rephrasing the question statement. So uh, you might have noted down the question and you will be understanding how intelligently, rather smartly, I have used different words uh, by using the synonyms very effectively, by the way. So my, my first sentence uh, would start and that's going to be my uh, paraphrasing sentence or it is also known as the background statement by some authors. So whatever it is, you must be careful about it that the first sentence is always the paraphrasing or the rephrasing of your question statement. So let's start. It is argued that volunteering should be made mandatory part of the school curriculum. So I need and mention the changes. You would notice it, write it down and understand how intelligently I have paraphrased it. Now, the next sentence would be my thesis statement. This essay agrees with that suggestion completely because it helps students develop soft skills and helps them gain much needed experience. So that's my thesis statement. It also outlines my topic, body paragraphs, or uh, I will be just talking about now the first body paragraph. And the first body paragraph will start from the topic sentence, or the central idea, or my first opinion. Education should not be limited to strictly academic pursuits and those in education should also develop life skills such as teamwork, empathy and self-discipline 
and one of the best ways to hone these aptitudes hone means to sharpen these aptitudes is through community service so that was my dear friends my topic sentence or central idea which i presented i'm going to give you some sporting sentences my sentence will be long so i'm going to give you only one sentence So I'm going to give you explanation by giving you an exploding sentence now. Serving those less fortunate than ourselves teaches us many lessons including how to work with people from other backgrounds and the value of hard work thus enabling us to sharpen these skills before becoming an adult now number three in the first body paragraph i'm going to include my first example and i would start it with to illustrate many young people from wealthier countries take a gap year and help those less fortunate than themselves to increase their gratitude for what they have and improve their work ethic so that's it now i'm going to start my body paragraph number two the first sentence once again would be topic sentence central idea or the second reason Many colleges and universities and companies also increasingly looking for, I beg your pardon, you, there should be a, a, a helping verb used, are increasingly looking for this type of experience. Most school leavers have the same grades and the charitable works can help set you apart from other students when making college university admission applications now for instance example sentence number three for for instance cambridge and oxford receive thousands of applications from straight A students straight A you know they got uh, A grades straight A category students every year but they can accept only a small percentage of applicants what you have done outside the classrooms is often the thing that differentiates you from everyone else and gets you that coveted spot so that's it dear friends the example is over and i've also exam uh, except if i've mean, explained a bit of example in the last sentence now the next one is the last one rather is the conclusion so here you give your conclusion you summarize and actually you give the points main points briefly as well in conclusion comma teenagers should be made to participate in unpaid work as a part of their schooling because it will help them learn things they would learn they would rather not learn from their teachers in the classrooms and it would also boost their chances of getting into third level education or the tertiary education dear friends that's it 
it was actually a kind of uh, lecture which was a much awaited lecture because lots of students were asking me to upload the lecture about opinion essay which is actually directly associated with IELTS writing task 2. I've done you on your request and uh, in this lecture uh, I've given you a bit of uh, basic understanding or overview of the opinion, opinion essay, how it is different from other essays, different categories and how you should be careful about uh, finding out by analyzing and then planning the opinion essay and afterwards I've given you the structure or the fundamental blocks of an opinion essay and then a practical example of question and answer uh, the, you know of opinion essay. I hope you would have learned a lot from this activity although it's a bit lengthier lecture uh, and uh, a bit of boring as well maybe or maybe not I'm sure about that so you will just uh, give me uh, an information about this lecture being useful or not in your uh, uh, comment section I will be just waiting for your comments to be given in that section hopefully I'll be seeing you with another category of uh, essay uh, for IELTS writing task 2. Until then, God bless you all. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.